Hello everyone. So today, let me talk about uh, custom notifications and also a group picker field. Now, there are so many features in Jira which uh, I use quite regularly, but I don't really get to talk about those features because they are either too obvious or maybe they are, uh, in my opinion, uh, too simple to use, but we still have to talk about those features uh, so that uh, we can uh, get the most out of Jira. Now, first let me, let me show you uh, this custom field called group custom field and also talk about the benefits of this field. So if you go to your custom fields in Jira and if you try to add a new custom field like uh, by clicking on the button on top, you can actually uh, create a field of different, uh, I mean, there are so many types in Jira. So let us select here uh, group. And uh, you have two options. You can either have multiple group, custom field, custom picker, custom group picker, or single group, group picker. So let me just select uh, multiple group, and I'll click on the next button. And uh, here I can actually enter the field name. I already have like a field uh, which is uh, of the same type, group picker, multiple group, and I've added this field to one of my screen in one of my project. Now the way it works is, if you let us say create, create a new, let us say issue, I know this field is added in Android project for bug issue type. This, uh, <clears throat> this is a bug, and uh, I can find the field here. This is the field, group picker field, and you can select here different uh, groups that you may have in your Jira instance and this group will of course let you do uh, wonderful things later on but right now it won't do anything right now the moment you select these group groups or group or groups you will have your issue in Jira but that is it uh, you have to basically configure Jira slightly more to do something with these groups. Now groups in Jira, I'm sure you know about it. You can have different users in these groups. So maybe you have 10 users in Jira administrator group. Some of them are probably also add, add on admin. I mean, this group is there anyways, but you may have a Jira software user group or, you, or any group that you may have in your, uh, in your uh, instance. Now you can do something on top of this. Now you can do some automation or you can uh, maybe configure some kind of approvals. So there are so many things that you can do, but let me give you a very simple example. Let us say the moment you do some uh, you know, transition, for example, we all know that, uh, let us say you have uh, on hold or escalated, let us say escalated, let us say you have a transition called escalated. And the moment you, the moment you do this or, or the moment you click on the button, the moment you make a transition, maybe you want to call this uh, custom event or maybe as your system event and then you want to send an email to these people in these groups. So you can actually configure this if you go to the notifications in your uh, project. And this is something that you can do anyways without using any app. So if you go to the notifications and Jira Cloud is not the fastest usually, maybe it is only, only me because I'm using free version of Jira. But let us see what we can do. So if you go to the notifications and if you click on uh, the, the <clears throat> different events, so let us use uh, edit notification. I'm modifying the default notification scheme, which is uh, something you should not do, but it is just a test instance. I don't really think, I don't really think it will break anything. All right. So basically you can have your own custom event, like send, send an email. And what you can do is you can actually click on the add button. And then you can say, okay, we want to use group custom field and we want to select here a group picker, multiple groups. And uh, what this will do, this will now send an email to everyone in the, in these groups that are selected here. Yes, very simple uh, use case, but uh, maybe you are not aware of it. And I thought I'll probably share it with everyone. Let me know if if you think you can find uh, some use of uh, this particular feature. I mean, not a feature. This is anyways there in Jira, but uh, if you're not 
if you never use use this kind of, kind of uh, you know custom event notifications you can and you you can you can of course have these custom notifications that can be triggered from uh, your workflow post functions all right that is it that is it for today i hope you found this video useful and you enjoyed watching this video as well all right thank you very much bye bye